Good morning, friends. Welcome to another Daily Dose, a Saturday Daily Dose from your COVID chaplain as we're finishing off a week that we're calling Freedom Week. And today I want to talk to you about um, the fact that, well, where freedom comes from. Maybe that's the best way to put it for you. I want to call this Rescue Day. The reason I'm calling it Rescue Day is because a lot of the freedom that people enjoy in life was not successfully gained by themselves. They didn't set themselves free. They were rescued. I mean, every classic story has has a maiden in a, in a, a tower or someone that has to be rescued, someone that's stuck on an island or something, someone lost in space, and they have to be rescued. And people set off on a course to be able to rescue them. And, and they send off a rescue mission. The rescue mission gets to them and they are given freedom. They're let out of prison. They're brought back from a place of isolation. They're brought out of danger. They're free to just get on with life. But not because they set themselves free, but because freedom was provided for them through a rescue mission. And so today, as I call this Rescue Day, I'm thinking about the fact that you cannot bring to yourself the freedom that you really need, that inner freedom we've been talking about all week. You can't bring it to yourself. You can't say, I choose to be free. You can't do it. It's just not going to happen like that. Yes, you have to use your will to cooperate and to allow God to work in your life and to forgive and to, to admit you were wrong and do those different things we talked about during the week. Yes, you've got to participate. But you don't actually bring yourself into freedom. You need a rescuer. So today I'm declaring it as Rescue Day. I want you to recognize that your freedom is really coming because someone else provides it for you. We know that God provides it for us. And Christians understand that it's provided through the work of Jesus. Jesus, who hadn't done anything wrong, came to earth and lived sinlessly, didn't do anything wrong, and then was punished, crucified, put to death, as if he'd done things wrong, which was a way of paying the bill for you and for me, the things that we've done wrong. And in that process, he defeated sin, and he defeated death, and he defeated Satan. So all of the enemies that would keep us enslaved, that would bring lockdown into our lives, have actually been broken, broken by Jesus. So he's run his rescue mission. It's already taken place. And now we can actually be rescued. We can come into freedom because of the work of someone else, because of the work of Jesus. Now, there are slaves that were set free, and, and we think of different people through history who, who set and emancipated people, as we say, emancipated them. We have these different um, people, and we give honor to them. It's great to see what God has done using different people to do all sorts of things. But the true inner freedom that you need, because this is Inner Freedom Week, that true inner freedom is going to come to you through the ministry of Jesus, through the ministry of the Holy Spirit, through the love of God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit working in your life because God has made it possible for you. He's actually already made it possible. The rescue mission has been run. So today, as we think of Rescue Day, it's a day for you, whatever you're doing. Maybe some of you are still working very hard today. Maybe others are spending time with family or mowing the lawn or doing things around the house. Whatever you're doing as your day unfolds today, I want you to recognize there is a rescuer. But this is the kind of rescue mission where you have to accept the help. It's no good saying that he's come to rescue you if you won't get into his boat and get off the desert island, if you won't get into his spaceship and be rescued from space, if you won't step out of the prison cell once he's opened the door. So there's a, a need for you to cooperate with the rescue mission and to say, thank you, God, I accept rescue. So think about those thoughts, those thoughts that bother you, fears, just things that disturb you at sleep. You wake up in the middle of the night and you can't go back to sleep because your mind is running over this or that. What about the things in your heart that, that disturb you, that worry you, things that, 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 that are of the past, people that have hurt you, offenses that you've had, fears for the future, all that stuff that's going on inside you. As those things come up, you need to stop and recognize there's been a rescue mission. Will I or will I not accept the rescue? 
And to accept the rescue, we have to say, God, look at me. My mind is a mess or my heart is all agitated. I'm buried in these fears. I'm feeling really bitter toward that person. Um, I've got great insecurities. Um, whatever it might be that comes to the surface for you to say, God, rescue. Rescue me. Rescue me. Set me free. I know that Jesus has somehow done whatever needs to be done. I don't understand it technically, but I'm sure he's done this. And I want to be set free. I call on you for rescue today. You see, he who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Or if you like, will be rescued. <laughs> he who calls on the name of the Lord will be rescued. And for rescue day, that's a pretty important verse. But you've got to call for the rescue. So as we've talked about inner freedom right through the week, a whole bunch of junk has probably been stirred up in your thinking and your feelings and you've remembered circumstances and situations in your family or back at school or in your work situations or in relationships or whatever. And you recognize there's a whole lot of junk in there and you haven't been able to get rid of all this week. You just know that it's there. Then as each thing comes up, you need to be able to say, Lord, deliver me. I call upon the name of the Lord so that you can rescue me. He who calls on the name of the Lord will be rescued. It's rescue day. Rescue day at the end of Freedom Week. Lord, I've done everything I think I know how to do that Pastor Chris has talked about. Now rescue me. <laughs> Come and get me. <laughs> Drag me off this desert island. Get me out of this place. Open these prison doors. I need you to do it for me. So today is a great day for being able to just come before God and as different things crop up, not just today, but right through the weeks ahead, as different things pop up and you realize God's bringing something up to the surface for you. Say, God, uh, show me what to do. I, I call on you for rescue. I, I, don't, I want to be, have that freedom on the inside. So let me have rescue from you today. Why not? Because it's rescue day. Call upon the name of the Lord today. And let him begin to unlock things inside you that will lead you into the wonderful inner freedom I've been talking about all week. As we close Inner Freedom Week, may this be a day of great rescue as you enjoy those wonderful freedoms God has for you. And as you allow God to do that for you during the day, may God bless you.